Many of you will think that I'm always blindly positive. Well, for the last 15 or so months, I've been able to be because the market is being going up in central London and quite dramatically. But within the last probably five to six weeks, we've certainly seen a slight slowdown in the market and really a plateauing of what's going on. There's more property on the market. We've seen the election and the emergency budget. We've had commentators talking about a 50% capital gains tax rate, which certainly put the brakes on the market. That is now 28%, and to my mind, it hasn't affected the market at all. Just two and a half years ago, it was 40%. So none of that has made a difference. What has made a difference, and what I'm relieved about, is that the market seems to be pausing for breath. We can't go on going up forever, and 15 months of consistent growth is an enormously long time. At Marsh and Parsons, our records show that central London has gone up 4.8% this year, with some highlights like Fulham up over 12% so far this year, Battersea just over 9%. So it's not just a general rise across the board of 4.8%, but in general now the market has calmed, it's drawing breath if you like, and really I don't see we'll see much going on in the market now until probably September. The RICS brought out something last week to say there was uh, less buyers and more property. Well, more property doesn't surprise me because of the abolition of HIPS, which has made a substantial difference. We've got 35% more property in the market now than we had this time last year. And quite frankly, less buyers doesn't surprise me in central London at the moment. Central London just empties at this time of year. So July and August are never particularly great times. Early September is really my marker as to where the market will go for the year ahead. London remains an extraordinary place and I know I talk about it a lot, but it just is. We've seen a vast influx of foreign money. In the last quarter, we've seen Greek money coming into London, looking for a safe place to go. I think in the next quarter, we'll see Spanish money coming into London, European money in general, but Spanish money in particular coming into London looking for security. The rental market is extraordinarily strong. We've let 53% more houses in excess of £1,000 a week in the last quarter than we did last year. And if you're buying for investment, you need a good, strong lettings market, great return on your investment, and London property, I think, is providing 45 to 5% at the moment, and a good, ready, willing, and able supply of tenants. We've seen the corporate market in lettings really come through, and vast budgets from corporate clients, embassies, wanting to relocate their people to London. So in general, it's been a very, very positive quarter with possibly a little bit more uncertainty on the horizon going forward. The supply of money continues to be a problem, but just this week, the Council of Mortgage Lenders brought out figures to show that as a percentage of your income, your mortgage payments are the cheapest, the lowest, for 35 years. Now, not everybody can afford to put down a 30% deposit, I grant you but many and if not most in central London can. So as a percentage of their income, mortgage payments are incredibly low. And that again, I think, will push the market on. Everything I read and hear tells me that interest rates aren't gonna rise in the foreseeable future. Maybe in the middle of next year, maybe. But still we have interest rates at 0.5 of 1% and mortgage rates at two and a half to three if you've got 30% to put down. So for those people, and it is a majority, in central London, it's a fantastic time to buy.